Welcome back for game two. Alex Myers on the mound for the Pioneers. Newman takes strike one. Same defense for the Pioneers, except for Myers on the mound. Newman came into the day hitting 313. Takes the ball to one on one. Alex Myers has no record. This is his sixth appearance, his first start. He has a 2.25 ERA. He has a save. 12 innings, 7 hits, 10 strikeouts. Opponents hitting a scant 159 against him. He's been great so far. Pioneer's trying to solidify that number four starter, giving him a chance today. Oof. Just missed with a heater. It's two and two. Pioneers one game, one four to two on the back of Javi Melendez. Two homers, four RBIs. Noah Castillo went four innings for the win, and the bullpen was excellent again. Grounder to Owens, one away. Got a good voice for this, AJ. How does the mirror sound? Uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Harpole takes a strike. It's 0-1. The lineup for the Ravens. Newman, Harpole, Martin, Minnis, Haas, Zimmerman, Ferrari, Marshawn, and Holmquist gets the start in left field. Fouled away. Fouled away. Two and two. Breaking ball, flared foul and out of play. The sun has gone. It's now cloudy and overcast. Just a lot chillier when that happens. Same pitch, same result. Another 2-2. Two -two. That's ripped up the middle for a single. Number 21, Bryce Mark. You could add now batting to the beginning of that. We'll polish it up a little bit. Martin takes ball one. Harpole had two hits in game three. Martin also had two hits. He was two for four. Foul tip swinging. 
What, South Africa, what's the weather? It's got to be cold, right? Way down south? Or is it not? Hmm. You got all... You got all the seasons? <laughs> what la what latitude are you even what South American country are you even with? We'll have to find that out. Two and one. This is up three and one. Yes. I only have one, though. Full count one out. <clears throat> Hard pull at first. He'll be off on the delivery, I would imagine. He's not. What do I know? Now batting number 37, Jack Minutes. What, what am I looking at here? Just got a stocking cap in front of my camera. <laughs> Who is that with the cap? Is that Brecklin? Called strike one on Minus, the four hole. Came into the day hitting 235, seven doubles, a triple, two homers. Fouled it away, 0 and 2. One two from Myers into center field, slicing away from Olmo. On the move, it has to check. He pulls up on it and checks up on him. They're sending the runner home with one out. The one hop throw couldn't be handled. And Olmo comes up a little bit lame. And it's one one to nothing. That was just a really awkward play. He may have pulled a muscle. I thought he was going to catch it. I thought he was going to get thrown out at home. A lot of th positives for the Pioneers just went the wrong way there. We'll check out the replay in a second. Grounded to second. Can we get two? No. Zimmerman, the DH now. All right, let's see what happened on this play. I thought he could have... Oh, wait. I think he was deciding whether or not to lay out for that. <clears throat> thought better of it. Then couldn't quite find it. We'll show it again. There's a strike. <clears throat> Olmo, an excellent center fielder, so you hardly ever see him indeci indecisive like that. Breaking ball stays in, two and one. <clears throat> Myers is working too quickly for me to show this replay. We'll get it in a second. Next foul ball. that that 
it's just one of those where the catcher reaches far for it, so the umpire thinks. Crespo doesn't usually show that much angst. He's looking into the dugout. I don't hate that walk anyway, so they're not gonna they're not gonna complain about it too much. The base open, but all right, let's look at that play. Let's see what happened. Remember the great catch Crespo had in a similar play yesterday. Let's see why he couldn't handle this one. What happened on the first pitch? Swing and a miss or a st called strike or what? Anybody ever remember? Okay. 0 oh 2 on Ferrari. Misses up and away. Bases loaded two outs, only one in. So not too much damage so far. <clears throat> but remember, this is the. I think the four hole of the first two days. This is the middle of the order guy. Little nubber towards second. Woodley. And the Pioneers escape further damage. North of Argentina. I don't know if I would have guessed that. Unless 38 is more north than 30. I don't know how, I don't know. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how latitude and longitude work. Is thirty is thirty eight south land, latitude north or south of thirty latitude? I don't know. The things we wonder up here. Olmo, another well hit ball. This time, caught by the right fielder. What? Somebody's on camera three right now. Look at that. Nice.
Call of Strike, same lineup for the Pioneers as the last several games. This is up one and one. Sherwood came into the day hitting 435. I think he went 0 for 1 in game 2. Uh, 0 for 2 with two walks in game 3. Ooh, that drill, I mean, that hurts, man. Where did that even get him? Like back heel? I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, like the bottom, like the, just the side of your foot. That's what I should call that. Someone's manning camera three. I don't know who it is, but I'm grateful. Probably Bryson Hamilton. That extends Bryson Sherwood's career HBP record. And that'll bring up Javi Melendez with two home runs in game one. So Melendez came into the day hitting 386. He's got four homers now. There he is. We're drilling, folks. Yeah, obviously not on purpose. <clears throat> Noah Castillo takes a ball from Mozingo. That's fun to say. Nicholas Mozingo. Two and zero. Oh. Mozingo is 0-1. This is his second start, fifth appearance. He has a 1-0-8 ERA with a save. Eight and a third innings, six hits, five strikeouts, opponents hitting 194, and a mound visit. Here we go. I found it. Buenos, Buenos Aires, Argentina, is further south than Cape Town, South Africa. There's your, there's your line. Mystery solved. The pioneers have one. 14 straight games. Lost game one against Park and then won the next three. Swept Grandview, swept Peru, and now three in a row against Benedictine. The 2-0. Got him. Popped up. Infield fly. Roll batters out. Who caught that? Big out after the mound visit. Now Dior Cornette will need a two out knock to tie this game. Into center field, fairly deep. Haas is there. Good mound visit, coach.
Tyler Marshawn, Marshawn leads off the top of the second for the Ravens. Marshawn was 0 for 2 with a walk in game one. That's grounded to short. Sherwood handles. That brings up Holmquist. We haven't seen him at the plate this week. We saw him courtesy run a couple times. He is 0 for 2 on the season. into center field. Omo is there tracking. Coming to the plate, number 42, Ashton Newman. Back to the top of the order for the Ravens, Ashton Newman. He was 1 for 4 in game 1, 0 for 4 so far in this one. Takes a ball. Softball team is up 1 to nothing on Peru across the way in the third inning. 2 and 0. Oh. Three and out. What'd you find? Kirsten's back. I got three Celsiuses and a chocolate milk cookie. Actually, two Celsius. What's a Celsius? Just a drink? An energy drink. Four pitch walk. What's the, what's the uh, caffeine in those things? Is it all jacked up like coffee? Like oh, yeah? Six straight from Myers. Little check swing, Woodley on the remove. I thought there was one out. I never lose track of the outs. I am distracted up here today. I'm keeping the live stats. How is it possible that I lose track of the outs?
I won't. No. I won't tell Coach. Ball one to Caden Owens. Swings through that one, one and one. <laughs> Owens in game one was 0 for 2 with a walk. Two two. Usually the pioneers in games three and four of series 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 like put up ten runs and absolutely smash the lesser used um, pitchers from the other teams but uh, not so far today popped fouling out of play one and one like when you've got high powered offenses like this when you get to games three and four and the ends of the bullpen and the lesser experienced guys it, it's, it gets ugly but uh, Sarver was excellent and Mozingo Looks good so far. This is the longest the Pioneers have trailed in a while. Like, and, and five for five outs, we've been behind. <laughs> been absolutely cruising in the last few weeks. The 2-2. Two -two. That was rough. Fastball's got really nice run. Willie Borquez. That's into right field, a base hit. You going to delete that one? <laughs> At least somebody goes back and watches all this. I like it. I've asked people before, do you guys go back and watch your stuff? No, not really. Swing and a miss from Crespo. I would have been... Especially the center field view. You never see yourself on the center field view. It's awesome. Crespo was one for three in game three. Pioneer softball. Robin Todd just hit a two run homer. It's three to nothing. Yeah, Sean Maple's girlfriend, right?
Swing and a miss. Delayed steal from Borquez, and it works. That's another Sam Riggleman special, the delayed steal. Full count. Could you? I couldn't. I wasn't looking for you. You got to start making goofy faces and stuff. Full count, two outs. Okay. I keep getting stuck on my collar. Another full count. Another spoiled fastball by Crespo. That is seven pitches this at bat. Stays alive again. You know they're going to keep throwing heaters to the nine hole to avoid walking him. Whatever you can throw for a strike here is what you throw. Crespo had some good swings in game one. Some hard contact. There's an off-speed pitch. Stays alive again. Got him swinging. Three, four, five, two up for the Ravens. Martin was two for four in game one. Game three. He walked in the first inning in this one. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. It's 0-1.
it was relevant to the current conversation. I'm talking about his home country weather. Three and one. Called strike two. The bullpen is stirring. If he walks the leadoff man here, they'll start to heat up. Looks like Brecklin, or is that Wilwers? I can't tell him apart from a distance. Mm. doesn't want to come out the body language says don't take me out coach it's only the second or the third inning but coach is probably saying look if you want to stay in we need some quick outs and sorry hands it off to Bryce Brecklin Myers is obviously frustrated. <clears throat> you got that, AJ? Now pitching for the Pioneers, number eight, Bryce Brecklin. Nice. Sounds way better than when I do it. <laughs> Bryce Brecklin, this is his 10th appearance. He has three starts. He's 2-1, and one, a 7-3-1 ERA, 16 innings, 20 hits, 13 strikeouts, opponents hitting 294 against him. music. Brecklin to face the four hole menace. I've got a case of the yawns. There goes the runner. Bunt missed. No interference called. Basically a fake bunt steal. What were they checking for there? Let's see that again. He did pull his bat back. They got it. This is up and in two and one.
Breaking ball, swung on and missed, two and two. Got him swinging. Breckland's got pretty good velocity. Don't know exactly what he throws. Brylon Haas came into the day hitting 277. Five hole. 0 for 3 in game 3. 0 for 1 in this one. Fouls off the first pitch 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 2. Good block from Crespo. 1 and 2. Grounded towards second, Woodley. Two down. D.H. Zimmerman. Swings through the first pitch. Zimmerman walked his first time up, and in game three, he was 0 for 3 with an RBI. Yes, he did. Need to build a roof out in center field. The one, two. This is in, two and two. count. Got him swinging.
That's. Want to know <laughs> Brent Olmo? One, two, three, do up for the Pioneers. Two and zero. Oh, Olmo lined out hard to right field on the first pitch he saw. Three and zero. Oh. Taking all the way here, and they do not like to retire Olmo. Just on base, on base, on base, over and over and over again. We got someone back on camera three, apparently. Who is that? Is it Bryson down there? Can you see him? Hammy? Sherwood now. Got hit in the foot his last time up. Squares. Wild pitch gets away. It's 1 0. Pioneers in business. Runner at second. Nobody out. All sorts of things here with the shift. Pioneers playing it straight up, six balls in a row from Mozingo. Man of Mound Visit. Two and zero to Sherwood. Three and zero. It's game four. The dugouts are getting restless. This is another automatic take. In certain situations, you could put the green light on here, but never right now. Eight in a row. Eight, eight in a row. And that brings up Babe and Melendez, and that's going to do it for Mozingo. I don't know if I like this pitching change. I like what he's got going. I mean, he's throwing eight straight balls. That's not great. But, like, we've had trouble squaring him up. I don't know. I don't know if I would have done this just yet. I liked him. Too bad for him. I don't know what to tell you. We'll be back.
Dement. Evan Dement. The lowest ERA on the team, just 11 innings. Comes in to face Melendez. Nine in a row. There's one. Hmm. Where'd that mess? Two and one. The two one. That's outside. Three and one. This guy's zone has been tighter than most. Both catchers have now gestured towards their respective dugouts like I don't know what to do. Pitcher asked that time, was that outside or low? And it was outside. And it was, but that pitch is usually called a strike too. Three and one to Melendez. Sit on a breaking ball here. He does. Flares it foul and out of play. The last time they threw a three run, a three one heater it was a couple hours ago and it just now landed. Three straight walks. Noah Castillo up with the bases loaded. He has two grand slams this year. <laughs> Swing and a miss. That's hammered into left field and deep. Back to the track, to the wall. Grand slam, Noah Castillo. His third grand slam of the year, and it is four to one. Zoom in on Castillo as he crosses the plate. Let's do that. Boom. My goodness. Did he know it right away? I doubt it because it was such a low tracer. There he is. What? <laughs> the big hat. Look at this thing. I, have, I haven't seen that this year. Oh, that was a rocket. Camera three tracing. I like it. One and one on Cornet.
I need to have my phone on because the statter at softball might need help. Full count to Dio, but that just means I keep getting ringing texts. Let's have a look at Castillo's homer again from camera one. His approach is so simple. Can't keep falling behind against an offense like this. Uh, Evan DeMint, a 0.82 ERA. This is his ninth appearance, all out of the pen. 11 innings. Base umpire didn't like that ball. What was that? 11 innings, 8 hits, 8 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 200. He's been great. Greeted here rudely with a walk and a bomb. And another walk. And a 2-1 count to Caden Owens. Yeah, 2-1. Good job. Squirted down the third baseline. Fair. <laughs> Hustle up, hustle up. There's plenty of time. You're good. I just need to make sure I can so I'm still a walker. Kirsten Wetterstrom about to make an appearance on the screen. And she uh, records Drew, her boyfriend. There she is. You see her. Did a little, did a little, uh, He'll kick. Slashes that foul. It's 0 and 1. Let's take a look at Caden Owens' hit on camera 2. I didn't switch very well, so I'll show it to you again. Good pitch. Strike 2. Could take two, you can't do much with it. Here's Owens. Pew. Beats the shift. Watch your face. And let's play the wetter strum heel kick again. Breaking ball, taken for ball two. All right, so here's the heel kick. She'll come walking down, steps up, jumps down. Nice. The 2-2 two -two to Woodley. Popped up. He didn't look very comfortable catching that, did he? Mm, a little safety squeeze. I 
I got your heel kick on replay. Yeah. Check it. It was after the after the foul ball that made it or I think it was the third or fourth pitch. Flared fouling out of play. One and two on Borges. Two balls, two strikes. Bork has looking to lift here. The flag just started blowing again. In from right. Grounded into right field. A carbon copy of his first hit. Owen stops at second. Dio scores. Hey, yeah. The, the beginning of this walk up is just brilliant. Bang, bang, bing, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Crespo. I don't know what this. Yeah, I think that should be your goal song. Or are you gonna steal Drews? That would be great. Simpatico. You see it? You yeah. get it on replay? <laughs> Softball is up eight to nothing now. Kelly Stokes with a homer. She's three for three. Breaking ball taken for a strike. It's one and two. Oh, come on. You know the game. You could do color. The one two. That gets away. Both runners move up. Infield comes in. That hit him, and he didn't swing at it, I don't think. They'll talk about it. It did hit him, but if he swung at it, then it's not. And it could be foul, or no, if he swung at it, then it's a strike. But I don't think he did. Let's have a look. Yeah, not even close. It's possible that they call it a foul ball. I think it hit his arm and then the bat. Is that ridiculous? Let me try this again. I don't know. Hard to see. We'll call it a foul ball because that's what it was. His bat was even with his elbow, and it, he, he reacted as though it hit him. But it also hit his bat. I'm not sure I've seen that before. We'll just do it again. Redo. 2-2. Two, two. Full count. <coughs> Pioneers have put up five in this inning, threatening for more. <coughs>
It's got to be so frustrating for defenses. You got eight guys with OPSs over a thousand, and then Crespo, your only respite, and he's giving you ten pitch at bats and hanging out line drives. Another full count, and he hangs out that line drive, and that is rammed into the gap. That's going to score two more. Ethan Arnold enters the game. He has a 496 ERA in 16 and a third innings, 21 hits, five strikeouts, opponents hitting 296. He has a one on one record. And he has three starts, tied for third most. And we're back at the top of the order. Olmo, who's only made two outs this whole series. I'm trying to talk over the music. Let's look at softball. Softball scored three in the seventh. They're up eight to nothing. And there's one out in the bottom of the seventh. Peru has two runners on. Michaela Jonico pitching in this one. She's about to complete that one. Brent Olmo, John Murfin at first, courtesy running for uh, Crespo. There goes Murfin, swing and a miss. He's going to be out. A hit and run that didn't make contact. That's what usually happens on those. Called strike two. Olmo was 0 for 1 with three walks in game one. Fouled away. In this game, he is 0 for 1 with a walk. So, yeah, he's made two outs today, didn't make any yesterday. The old OBP is going to skyrocket. Which it already has. He's over 500 anyway. Oh, good tape. Two and two. Where did we get Olmo? Where is he from, Todd? Transfer? Saracoso Community College. Where's that? 
from Puerto Rico. It's been a really nice get. He's been really nice this year on the leadoff spot. Full count, and he reaches once again. Fly me to the moon. Okay, Olmo's OBP coming into this day was 543. That included his eight reaches or seven reaches yesterday. Sherwood takes ball one. Sherwood's OBP entering today, 547. Woodley, 538. Three guys with OBPs over 500. And it's getting it done. 40% is good in this game. Over 50 is ridiculous. Slashed foul and out of play. It's one and one. Headed for that car with his lights on. Nicely fielded by the driver. Well done, sir. <laughs> Holds both hands up like, yes, I'm him, as the kids say. That's where the community college is from? How'd we find him? Does he know somebody on the team? The 2-1. That's into left field and deep, slicing towards the foul corner. One hops the foul fence. As long as somebody is on camera three, I'll keep switching to it. Yeah, you see it there? That would not be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. With your neuro spiciness, we can't guarantee anything. The 2 2. Hammered into deep right field. I don't think they want to give him another chance. Oh, that didn't go very far. You and me both. Ferrari takes strike one. Pioneer softball won eight to nothing. Michaela Jonico a complete game shutout. Pioneers pick up a split.
KU lost. Is that what we just heard? To uh, the Gonzaga. I had that. That is hammered foul towards that guy again in the parking lot. Just, <laughs> just missed his car. And he's getting out to get it. Show that, Preston. Show where he's parked over there. After this pitch. After this pitch. There we go. That's why we're not pointed into the parking lot. Base hit for Ferrari. Okay, Preston, show that guy. Here's here's where that foul ball went. All the way. Yeah, that guy with the he's parked at an angle. That ball just missed that front right tire. Pretty fun. Uh, who's running? Twenty. Uh, it's not twenty nine. So who is it? Gabriel running it first. And the hitter, Marshawn. Into center field with authority. Olmo tracking. One away. Swing and a miss for Holmquist, the nine hole. Noah Castillo this year. That was his seventh homer, three of them grand slams. I think we may have had him there. It's hard to tell from this angle with the pole and everything, but... Strike two. Oof. It's hard for the umpire to see that, too. It has to be so obvious that you can see it from there. Fair ball down the line. Melendez had a little bit of trouble with it. Throw to the plate. Got him! What a throw from Dio! Really don't like that send down six with one out. But with that slight bobble in left, I think that caused him to go for it. Dio with a perfect throw. Seven, five, two. I'll show that to you again. Especially at the top of your order coming up. It's a rough one. But you've also had a heck of a time scoring. Heck of a hard time scoring. Even with your good situations. So that probably played into it. One and one on Newman, the leadoff. Into left center and deep. That's going to clear the outfielders and bounce over the fence for a ground rule double and Benedictine's second run. That slight hesitation there, and then he overshoots Sherwood, the initial cut, but that's why you have two guys there. 
and a perfect peg from Dio. <laughs> That's big time. Called strike one to Harpole. Center field, shallow, Woodley and Olmo converging. Sherwood makes the play. Didn't think he was part of that. Javi Melendez takes the first two pitches for a ball. It's 2-0. and Good take, 3-0. Popped up, out of play. <laughs> Full count to Melendez, two homers in game one. Gotta assume off speed here. And I would have struck out on that one too. Really nice pitch. If you're looking off speed and they bust you up under the hands with a heater, that's double tough. Yeah, he was sitting sitting soft, probably. Noah Castillo takes ball one. 
Grand Slam last inning, his third of the season. That's skied into deep left center field, still tracking to the track, to the wall. Bounces off of his glove and over the fence for a home run. Did you get that, Preston? I do, I have to ask. I'm just giving him credit. Let's watch him wear the funny hat and then no one's on camera three apparently. And then watch this. That was so high. I don't know if he touched it. It may just hit off the top of the fence and went over. Called strike one to Dio Cornette. We'll look at that again. Check swing foul ball. What do you think? Does he touch this ball? I don't think so. I think he came up short and it bounced off the top of the fence. We're going to keep watching it. Four month anniversary. Grounded up the middle. That's where the second baseman's standing, and Dio slams his bat. The shift is frustrating. He did not touch that ball. Left fielder's like, ooh, can I grab that on the bounce? What was the launch angle on this Castillo homer? What's a normal launch angle, AJ? Thirty and forty. So this is probably. Well, wouldn't forty-five be straight up, or is that ninety? Okay. Two and zero to Caden Owens. We'll take a look at this launch angle from Noah. What's a way too steep launch angle? What's a pop-up? 80? 75? So let's call Noah's 65. The greatest launch angle home run ever. Grounded through the shift. It giveth and it taketh away. Um, uh, like a jazz hands. Told Kirsten to do jazz hands now, so she's headed down. Here she is, and nope, didn't see it. We'll wait till after this pitch, apparently. Ball one to Woodley. called strike mm. careful though Kirsten will go out and attack you Willie Borquez, his last 
two at bats he's hit it right where the first baseman is right now but now that the first baseman isn't holding that's covered I didn't see any jazz hands okay well <laughs> swing and a miss I didn't replay it or anything so you'll have to take I'll have to take your word for it you have to find it on YouTube and show me yeah I want to know to Borges. He misses up one and one. Borges in the first game is 0 for 3. In this game, he's 2 for 2 with a run scored in RBI and a stolen base. I think this pitch is leaving the yard, folks even against the wind. Go ahead, hit that to left center. Got him swinging, that was nasty. Let's watch Noah's home. Center fielder's like, ah, give me another chance at that, and I'll get it. I think he may have been worried about the left fielder a little bit. Because that's one that was robbable, and that's pretty rare. Oh, we got Mason Hunter at third. What number is he? Six? Oh, let's test him right away. Brecklin's like, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, so that was a bunt, 1-3. Okay. Uh, Dio's bat slam on his way to first could have contributed to his being replaced on defense right here. Mason Hunter's in the game at third. Woodley on the run makes the catch. Now I under get now I get it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice play. Offensive timeout.
menace the four hole to face Brecklin. We think Drew Woodley just greedied, and we're going to have to show that. During the offensive timeout. Two and oh. Let's see, does he do something out here at second base? If he did, I missed it. Or he was just like adjusting his pants or his stirrups. It was a full gritty. <laughs> Alright, we'll play it from the hole. Game four, people. This is what we focus on. All right. Here it is. What's Woodley doing at second base? I don't see it. I don't see it. That grazed his elbow, and he takes first on the HBP. Zoom in, zoom, pinch zoom on that, and screen record it. There you go. Now, now your screen recording is useful. Two outs, run around first. Haas takes ball one. What did Haas do? Where's Minnis? What did I do? Did I miss a batter? What did Minnis do then? So who's at the plate? It's still Zimmerman, though. Are they batting out of order? I only have one out. I missed something. Oh, I miss Woodley's. I miss Woodley's. Woodley's. Was that the second out? Yes. Okay. All right, so Minnis popped out. Right? Haas was hit by a pitch. And Zimmerman faces a two and one count. Did that hit the umpire? What in the world? It was a swing and a miss and a passed ball. No, it wasn't a passed ball because nobody moved up. And there was a wild pitch. <laughs> We're struggling. Full count, two outs to Zimmerman, and a ball four. The catcher is due up. He probably has to remove some gear, and here he comes. We have seven hits scoreboard. Us. Ball one to Ferrari.
into right center field. That's going to split the gap and get down. One run scores. They hold the second one at third, and it's 8-3. to three. comes Coach Thompson, and that'll do it for Brecklin. Looks like Logan Burbach is going to make another appearance. Logan Burbach enters the game. The Ravens are a base hit from getting back in this thing. Pop fouling out of play. Burbach was good in game one. He's been excellent all season. He came into the day with a 3.95 ERA, 1-0 record in ten, uh, nine appearances. 13 and two-thirds innings, 14 hits, 14 strikeouts, opponents hitting 255. Popped up. Should hang up. Borquez is there. Burbach gets out of it. Uh, those numbers for Burbach have improved slightly since that page was printed. We go to the bottom of the fifth. New arm in for the Ravens. Andrew Bayer. He is 0-2. This is his ninth appearance. He has three starts. 
1446 ERA, nine and a third innings, 13 hits, nine strikeouts, opponents hitting 333. Looks like he's wearing slides, doesn't it? <laughs> don't, those, don't those look like slides? <laughs> well, it just looks like, yeah, it looks like slides with black socks. <laughs> Obviously it's not, but it looks like it. Well, with, with what the kids wear today, you wouldn't be shocked to see slides out on the baseball field. It seems like Crocs and slides are all the rage now. Don't want to tie my shoes. I don't do it either. I got the old man Skechers step-ins. I don't, I don't tie my shoes either. See, you just go. Wha-pow! Nine one two for the Pioneers. Crespo in game one was one for three. Where was it? This game he's one for two with a couple RBIs and a strikeout. Two and out. Oh. Tons of walks for this guy. Twelve walks in nine and a third innings. Make it thirteen. Murfin comes in to run again, and Brent Olmo, who's walked five or six, five or six times this series, and facing a guy that walks a whole bunch of people. And this matchup favors another pioneer base runner. <laughs> Called strike one. Grounded to second. Four, six, no chance at the double play. But they retired Olmo. Now batting, number 10, Bryce Sherwood. Sawed him off there. Sherwood hitless on the day. Take strike one. He's reached base a few times with walks and HBPs, but no hits. He gets the record and just shuts it down, apparently. 2-0. 101. Two one. There's a base hit. Can't keep him hitless for a whole double header. That's too much to ask for. That's so good. He's he's just really good. Just slap it through the shift if you need a base knock.
this is in 2 and 0. Crushed into deep right center, but the wind will hold that up. Olmo tags and moves up. Two down. Castillo with a grand slam and a solo shot with a chance to really put his mark on the game. Yeah, decent option. Popped up. Sherwood was running with the pitch. That was skied as well. We go to the sixth up by five. Nine one two do up for the Ravens. Dio Cornette back in on defense at third. Sean Maple enters the game in left. And Crespo obviously back behind the plate after the courtesy running. Fallon out of play. Popped up. Sherwood. One away. That'll do it for Burbach. Interesting. Oh, we go to Newman. We bring in tough lefties for you, buddy. Who do you want? Hurtado or Barry? Or Noland even? Barry. We'll be back. John Barry enters the game.
A.J. McMahon coming at you with a pitching change. John Berry. Got a few outs in game three. It has been a tight zone. Was that up, do you think? Yeah, it was up. It's away, 2-0. Fouls it off, two and two. Got him with a heater on the outside corner. Watch out if John Barry starts painting fastballs. Harples had a good day. Two for three in game one. One for three in game two. Or three and four if you want to go that way. Yes, he did. Here's that strike three pitch. <laughs> That's nasty. Newman seen nothing but sliders, and then he just outside corner at the knees. Three and one. Slider, little looper to Woodley. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Pioneers in control.
Cornette, Owens, Woodley to face Bayer in the bottom of the sixth. Fastball paints the inside corner, 101. I feel like Cornette's had a quiet day. 0 for 3 in game 3. And 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored in this one. Two and two. Full count. Leadoff walk for Cornette. You would think about pinch running for him possibly here, but he's already been removed once, so you don't want to take him out of the game fully. In the NAIA, you can re-enter once as a starter. So he's in for the duration. Caden Owens. Take strike one. Owens was 0 for 2 in game three. He's 2 for 3 with a run scored and a strikeout in this one. Fouled away. 0 and 2. in the dirt. Good dirt ball read from Cornette. Boy, they still almost got him. And it's two and two. So runner in scoring position, but nobody out for Owens. He'll be looking to pull, or he can just spray it to left for a knock if he wants one. Jazz hands. Woodley takes strike one. I wasn't paying attention. Did we get jazz hands? Slashed into right. That's down and in the corner. Woodley will make the turn and head to second. Dio scores, and it's an RBI double for Woodley. I missed it. When did you do it? Oh, I may have gotten it then. Swing and a miss from Borges. Nope. Swing and a miss. Video where it didn't happen. It didn't happen. 
I even hit replay after he got on second when you haven't done anything yet. Three straight swinging strikes from Borquez. And there are two away. Swing and a miss, that gets away. That was right at his glove, so a passed ball. going to be a while before we're back here and you can do it again. 0-2. Oh Man. Three strikeouts in that inning for Bayer. And I think we'll see Barry to start the inning maybe against the lefty and then go from there? I don't know. It'll be a mystery. John Barry stays in to face Martin. He got a hit off of him in game three. He was two for four. He is 0 for 1 with two walks and a steal in this game. You can't go two for two off Barry. That's no easy task. Lefty, lefty matchup. He's like, bring it on. And I think he's seen two total pitches. I think they were both first pitch knocks. The next home series for us is over a month away. And it's senior day series against Baker. We'll have a lot of baseball between now and then, but it's amazing that we won't see them for a month. But we've had three straight home weekends. And as the four-hole menace takes ball one from John Barry. Let's close this one out first before we start lamenting about our road schedule. Grounded to third. Dio, five, four. Just the one. Nice play from Dio. He's pretty slick over there, pretty confident. Well, we 
got a fire on the other side of town now. Haas now, the five hole. Swings through that first offering from Barry, 0-1. What went wrong? Drills him in the back. That might be it for Barry as Helen and another righty, is that Wilwers, are throwing in the pen. It'll be Helen when we come back. Reese Helen takes the mound. Got a save in game one and game three. Not a safe situation here. But trouble brewing. Pioneers bring in the closer. Ball one to Zimmerman. The DH in the six hole. Two and oh. Popped up. Medium deep left center. Olmo. Two down. Ferrari, one for two in game one, two for three with an RBI in this one. Swing and a miss. <clears throat> the 0-1. 
misses away to one and one. Pioneers looking for their third straight sweep and 14th straight victory. Did he call that a strike? What was that? He swung at it. No, he didn't. The one two misses away. I want to look at that previous pitch. Yikes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. We'll do it again. Got him swinging. That'll do it. Pioneers complete the sweep. And have won a bunch in a row. This team is rolling. We got some hard matchups coming up at CMU next weekend. Following that with William Penn on the road. Mid-America Christian, a non-conference after that. And then Clark at Clark after that. So four straight weekends on the road. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We out.